Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I have not been active for the last month or so. I uh, had to get a full-time job at uh, Harley and uh, I'm working Tuesday through Saturday and man, the hours are long. It's dark when I leave. Well, not real dark, you know, it's kind of getting light, but it's dark when I get home and uh, I'm exhausted and I just haven't had it in me to, uh, to get anything done. The last few weekends, I just been like in recovery mode. And then on, on Monday, which is my Sunday, I just, I rest, man. I rest and get ready for Tuesday. I started in December and I got like a two and a half week period uh, where I was off. Uh, it was, it was kind of weird. My, my training got interrupted. The guy that was going to be training me was off for two and a half weeks. I ended up having to stay home with no pay. And so I was pretty bummed out, you know, about just not being able to do this full time. You guys know this is my passion. God knows this is where I wanna be. And so um, I've been really, really, really bummed out and really missing um, my shop, just really missing working on the bikes here. And so I've had my brother-in-law's bike here from Salinas um, for, I don't know now, since Christmas. I picked it up on Christmas and uh, I haven't been able to do anything. I had some things work done at work that I couldn't do. I get, uh, I don't know, like maybe 45, 50% off maybe of labor and, uh, and, and parts, which is amazing, right? I get cost on parts, I think plus 10% or something like that. So that's been good, but the job has not been as easy. It's pretty stressful mentally and sometimes challenging physically for me because you guys know my back hasn't been the best ever since I was in that accident years ago so anyways let me show you I've ordered him some parts and I just want to get started on uh, on showing you what I picked up here First of all, I wanted to show you guys this bearing here. This was the neck bearing that was on the top. And if you notice, it's got a gap here. It's more oval and it's closed right here. And you can see the wear on them. They're not grooved. They're just worn. The bike's got like 40,000 miles on it. I don't think those were ever changed and it was dry. So I ended up cleaning this up. Tag still on it from work. So I ended up cleaning this up and taking it over to them to work. And uh, they uh, they pressed this guy on for me, and uh, which is really, really hard to do. Normally you gotta get, you know, like a high power uh, little, uh, God, what are those things called? Um, Jesus, I use it all the time. I can't even think about it. It's just a small, you get a small wheel on there, small wheel grinder. And you just have to, you have to break this off first and then you just cut this, you get it deep enough and then you get a chisel and you hit it in there and it usually separates. And then that just pulls out. And then here you just get like a homemade pipe that I have and it just fits right over here and it sits right here on top of the actual bearing itself that sits inside the shaft, the stem. And you just tap it down. You don't have to beat it to death. You just tap it, tap it down and, and it stays in there. So I'm gonna put the risers in there and I got the extra bearing here. In fact, I'll show you the difference. Of course, that's the new one on my right. And that's the worn out one on my left. And uh, you can see how it's kind of collapsed there. This one's not in perfect. Um, yeah, it actually is. It actually is. It looks pretty good. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pack these bearings and then I'm going to get this stem on there. And then I'm going to pull these risers out of the bike. And I did get my new socket too for, for these guys here so that I can actually torque the plugs. See that it's shaped just like that. It goes perfect, perfectly over it like so. And then you you can torque these. So I haven't been able to really torque them to spec as long as you get them really tight, but I got the tool now. So little by little, I'm collecting everything that I need. So let's get started with this video, guys. So here's the oil changing kit for him. Here are his, uh, his lower forks. His handlebars are in here. And I forget what's in there. Oh, his uh, highway bar. He, all this stuff is black. And I will, 
unpackage it soon so you can actually check it out or you'll actually see it once I start putting it together on the bike because this is kind of where it's at right here. So I'm going to put this back there and set this aside and you can see the grooves here. Let me turn on this light. <clears throat> You can see the wear marks in there, right? And I don't feel any grooves in there. And they say that if you don't really feel any grooves that you can reuse those races, but I'm gonna take them out. So let me grab my tool for that and set up my camera. So there's a small lip on the bottom of this between where it actually stops. And that is for this lip here when you're putting it in there you want to turn it out keep opening it and there it is right there so this is a metric tool right so it's actually a number 12 and you want to get that in there nice and tight not too tight, but you want to get it in there nice and tight. And then you want to go ahead and stick something underneath it and start tapping the bottom. Yeah, and all I'm trying to do is hit that bottom piece evenly. I had to file that tip a little bit. I had to file that tip a little bit because it wasn't actually getting, there's a, like a little groove in the back. Almost out. There it is. And there it is guys. So you can see that there's a little lip, right? And there's another lip inside of there. So this is a little thick right here. I had to file it down because it wasn't getting between the actual riser and the lip inside of here. You can see that lip right there. See that lip? So if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm gonna clean inside of here and make sure that nothing's damaged or messed up. Can you guys see? Can you see how there's a lip where the riser stops on the top and then there's one on the bottom? I think you guys can see it more on that side. See it? So I'm gonna get that one out down there first and then I'm gonna put them both in. All right guys, we're gonna try to get this one out now. I'm gonna tap a little bit on each side. A little here. I don't even think it moved. Nope, it didn't even move. I might, this one down here might even be a little tighter, a little tighter than the other one. So let me actually grind this a little more. Hey, what's up, brother? Oh my God, it just feels amazing just to be out here again. Oh, it is coming out. It's been a month, bro. It has been a month. So let me, yeah, let me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 
it's actually coming out right now. Yeah, I'm getting grease everywhere. There it is. Got it. Woo! So we got that out, guys. I'm gonna loosen it up and then I'll show you. I wanna feel around in here, make sure I didn't damage anything. Everything feels good, guys. I'm gonna get this neck on today and, and then start working on those forks. Yep, it's looking good, guys, looking good. So you guys can see how these look inside. That's the reason why I changed them, because they had wear marks all over them. They were still smooth. Most shops would have just put them on like that, changed the top, the, just the actual bearings themselves, not the risers. But not at J Customs, we do everything. So you got a, uh, a, a, a trial pack. Yeah, I did, man. I was just like, remember I told y'all to buy myself some good I was like, I gotta get me a trial pack. And so they said that that's, they asked me, it's a trip, what, what my cigars were, like, you know, the computer, it asked you like a little questionnaire. Huh? And I said, you know, mild, medium to mild blah 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 i want to get a pack and blah 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 and he said that was the best one so i was like okay make sure this there it is there it is that one's in hear the different sound you hear the different sound huh solid Yes. Yes. Anyway, so I was glad my wife, you know, she she wasn't normally like that before. So I take a little credit for getting her a little bolder. You know what I mean? All right. They're both in. I'm glad I bought this little driver. All right, guys. Um... My brother was off today and he came over and we kind of hung out for like three hours. So him and I uh, put this guy on together. So that's on there now. I think that's actually pretty good. I won't be able to do the uh, the uh, follow away until I get the forks and everything back on there. But those are the old forks. So I took the forks off, took them all apart. Those are the springs that are in there. The 2013 soft tail got 40k on it i'm gonna see if he wants to go a little bit better spring on there he's not a big guy he's probably like maybe 170 175 so anyways um those are all the parts and everything that i used i packed the bearings earlier and these are the forks they're still wrapped up in plastic they're all together, all brand new parts on the inside. He wanted to go black, and so those are it. So that's about it. So I uh, I work tomorrow all the way through Saturday, so I won't be able to do anything again until Saturday night. If I'm too tired, I usually get home real exhausted. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update on everything. And, uh, you know, my uh, raffle is still going on, man. We've sold one ticket. Thank you, thank you, William Day, for buying uh, another hat, another entry. We still have like 100 and I think 19 to go, something like that. So anyways, if you guys are interested in wanting, winning one of these beautiful bikes, you can just go ahead and head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat or a t-shirt. We have charcoal gray all the way up to 5X. We have black all the way up to 5X. We have a new logo. The colors changed a little bit because it was hard to see on some of the shirts. So uh, he went ahead and updated the logo for me. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna be taking pictures of, uh, of the new logo and the charcoal gray shirts and hopefully be putting those up soon. I took some pictures, they didn't actually come out right. We haven't had, you know, like a real good sunny day now in weeks, so it's been a while. But anyways, um, it's like, I don't know, 6.30 now on Monday evening. I've been out here all afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and head in the house. I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of this recorded. Um, it was just great hanging out with my brother and just not having to just record anything and just kind of hang out, work on the bike together. 
you know, we, we kind of hung out more than anything. So it was actually pretty cool just hanging out. So anyways, I hope you guys are uh, having a good new year. Uh, January went by pretty quick and, uh, here we are February 5th. So other than that, you guys, uh, Always remember to ride safe, take care, God bless and everything that you do. And I look forward to uh, catching up on some videos uh, here real soon once I get some, some time to come out here, once I get used to working. It's been kicking my butt, man. I've been coming home tired. And like I said, my Sunday's my Saturday and I pretty much just rest and do nothing all day. So you guys have a good evening. Jay Customs. Thanks.